Steve, do you know what time of year it is? What time of year is it? The greatest time, the greatest time of the year, man. Football season's coming back around. No, you're wrong. It's 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 a different thing for me. It is Nike WVU Nike time of year. (laughs) The new ones came out. Check it out. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you don't know what I'm doing, but I'm holding my shoe. I'm kissing it and caressing it because I love this this time of year because I love the WVU Nikes every year and I'm first one in line to get them. Steve, come on, that's a good looking shoe, right? Nice shoe. I'd rock they it went white. Sure. They went white. Mm. This is what I like the white. Oh, it's so good. And guess where you can buy them? Mm. The book exchange. The book exchange. Who, by the way, thank you very much. I've come back for our new season. Uh, the book exchange. You can find them two locations on campus. But if you're listening or watching on YouTube, you're probably one of those folks that don't live in Morgantown. Guess what? You can do it online. Um, and you sure. can buy these shoes. And guess what else you can do? Steve, what can they do? What can they do to save money? 25% use Burning Couch. Yeah, okay. I was like, I didn't even <laughs> give Steve a script. I'm like, oh, I hope he remembers the code. <laughs> Burning Couch, man. Burning Couch. Yeah, uh, basically new, free I'm with 25% off. I'm true to this, baby. <laughs> Um, Steve, uh, I like most Mountaineer fans. This is when we're at our most happiest is right before the season. And this is usually where I spend the most money on gear. So <laughs> go get your gear locally owned too. Don't, don't go to one of those, those chain stores that are selling the same stuff or not as high quality stuff. Cause they're not keeping the money in, in Morgantown locally owned. Uh, the book exchange you can go there uh if you're on campus and you're a student hey go there there's always there's always girls shopping at the book exchange always i'm just telling you always and Stay away from the clubs get the, get the girls at the bookstore man Stay yeah get the girls the girl damn right that's where the good girls are at the bookstore buying their gear to look cute for the season use the running couch 25 percent off and we thank the book exchange for coming back for our latest season of the burning couch back guess what it is the 10th year that we have been doing this podcast formerly called the pat white podcast then called the pw pod now called the burning couch i am your host a guy who you probably have never heard of but that doesn't matter i'm maddie stout and with me a guy you have certainly heard of he runs up and down the field he is one of the greatest players to ever grace the halls of west virginia university his name is steve slayton hello steve hey matt man i appreciate that introduction that lovely introduction man how have you been man So it's been a bit. We haven't talked since uh, the end of basketball season, basically. We did a couple shows, but um, I turned 50 this this summer. Yes, sir. That's where you're supposed to say. You don't look look a day over 30, buddy. I should have did the uh, Kevin Hart. Damn. (laughs) (laughs) And that's all I did. This, uh, You know, I celebrated being 50 this summer. Uh, How about you? Oof. It's been an up and down summer, but uh, we're back on track. So I'm, I'm here. I'm here to stay. I'm here to good mood. All things are good in the Slayton household. So hey, it's all that matters. You've been you've been being a dad. Oh yeah, being a dad. Been, been that's all. That's different that's, types that's, of dads. Twenty four seven job. Um, oh, shoot, I won't I won't stop until I'm in the grave. <laughs> hey hey hey! My dad's eighty eight, and he still has to wipe my ass once in a while so uh what uh, sorry buddy you're in for it now um uh coming up on the show we're going to talk about the new big 12 uh some headlines we missed this summer the new big 12 don't put your mind in the gutter but wvu adds a cock (laughs) by the way this season so we have uh evidently blown up on youtube like no other wvu podcast so we thank the book exchange for coming back they're doing a lot of, we're gonna do some live streaming of games this season where steve and i will be sitting watching the game on youtube um we'll see how that turns out because i will probably be really Hi. and i know steve enjoys a cocktail while he watches a game so could be interesting just real quick steve i wanted to get your thoughts on uh the new big 12 and do you know who the most winningest team is in the new big 12 in, in college football history do you know which one it is no no idea but i mean i think it's it's good i mean everything needs to shake up but the looks of mike's face has got to be west virginia though it is west virginia with <laughs> 774 uh career uh wins number two colorado i was surprised about that then utah tcu cincinnati of course, they didn't play people for a long time, so that shouldn't really count. Yeah. Uh, Arizona State, Oklahoma State, Baylor, Arizona, BYU, Kansas, Texas Tech, Kansas State, Iowa State, Houston, and then Old Central Florida, who's kind of a, a new one. Um, that's the new Big 12. I don't have much to say about it. I'm super happy about it. I like it. I, I'm not the kid that has to travel, but 
guess what? That's that's reality today in college football. Uh, I live in California. All the little Pac-12 people are crying. I'm sorry. I always thought your league sucked anyway, and and never was uh, a, a, should never have been called a powerhouse. So uh, so long. See you later, Pac-12. I have no qualms about that. As a football player, Steve, what do you think about a, a, a great league like the Pac-12 falling apart? I mean, it's, it's definitely a lot of nostalgia from being younger watching them. But, hey, man, it, it's one of those things that is, is bound to happen. But hopefully um, this league becomes competitive. Um, I think it's good that we have so many different teams from, from uh, all over the country. So it's not just a one lopsided travel team. So everybody gets a little jet lag. And living in Cali, I can say that I am very much looking forward to going to Arizona and Arizona State, wearing my my gear and and yelling <laughs> and being loud and telling them what a Mountaineer fan is all about because they are just lame. They're wait, West Coast fans are fucking lame. They are so lame. They are the you go to a game and it's like, oh, we're at the game. Let's all be yeah, we're tailgating with a picnic. <laughs> Welcome hey, to Big Twelve, know, bitches. And know how to party like the Big East old boys. <laughs> <laughs> Although I will say Arizona State is a bit of a party school, but still, mm-hmm. um, that was one headline. The other headline I wanted to drop was, uh, uh, we love them. We love them. We love West Virginia, but they lost to fucking Marshall. Uh, and again, I've, I'm on YouTube now. It's probably dropped the F-bombs less, um, but uh, they dropped to Marshall. Here's a question for you, Mr. Slayton. Is it time for John Flowers? Is it time for Deshaun Butler? Is it time for the old guard to step aside, let Eric Stevenson and some of the new young players take over that team? Um, I think if fanfare, if they're still willing to play and still can compete, yeah, you go. You definitely do it. But, I mean, like we said earlier, it's not fair. Mar- None of the Marshall guys are Marshall guys. They're just picked up to play some basketball. We actually Thanks. have guys that actually went through the program and did, and I think that's the way it should be played, respectfully. It- and even the guys that didn't have an affiliation with the West Virginia in some way, shape, or form. Uh, Marshall was a, a bunch of posers that were just brought on off the street, just like anything. Marshall's got to cheat to win anything. So <laughs> typical, typical turds. Mm. All right. Uh, by the way, I think those guys should play as long as they want. Uh, but I did enjoy watching Eric Stevenson. But I did not enjoy watching him explode and blow up like he did during the season with fouls. Uh, one other headline from uh, the, the the summer that I'm just going to throw out at you. Did you know the WVU added a cock? I'm pretty sure there's more than one, but uh, explain that to me, Matthew. <laughs> I don't know if that's how you pronounce his name, but it's a Georgetown transfer, and his name's spelled a cock. A cock, a cock. That's his name, a cock, a cock. And I'm going to have mm. fun with that all season long. So, welcome, a cock. <laughs> welcome to Morgantown. That was your very fast. What did you miss this summer headlines? Uh, I'm sure other things happened, but I, you know, I don't know. I've been, uh, I, I, I've been following everything on, on Twitter, which is now called X. What do you think of that name change, Steve? I think it's random. What, what was the point? There's nothing wrong with Twitter. And I think that's how people still going to refer to it. Nobody's going to call it on X. I feel like, you it's, know, it's, I don't know. It's, I think it's I an ego trip li- thing. Oh, I bought it. Let me change the name. I do a bit of brand marketing. You know, kind of pays some of my bills. And uh, when you have a brand name like that, you don't change it. You don't change it. Yeah. I still will be on it, and we will always still be the mean, nasty, ugly looking, you know, not as attractive social media site. Um, and one guy I follow on there and, and, and interact with fairly regularly is uh, our friend Mike Asty. And uh, he's going to come up on the other side because we need a preview of the season because, uh, I think we're going to go undefeated. Uh, but that's how I always start the season off. <laughs> and uh, we'll, we'll talk some football, and then we will kick off our new season with the inaugural Player vs. Porn Star Arizona Edition coming up. From Jam Street Media.